Hey guys, let me just say that before I start, it's kind of a hot day here and so I've got my balcony uh, door open uh, just to let some air in. Uh, so you may hear some sounds of uh, traffic going by and birds chirping and all that and so <laughs> with the lighting that I've got going on right now, doesn't it look like there's angels through there? But anyway, here I'll, uh, I'll try and focus in on that particular area. There you go. So that's actually what's outside. So back to me now. See, I'll lock the brightness in. I'll just take it down slightly. There we go. All right. So, what I wanted to do now was just make a quick video uh, explaining for those that aren't in the know uh, what protective offense means and the reason why I decided to call my channel that. Uh, so, uh, years ago when I started teaching self defense and stuff like that. Uh, what I taught was a cross between techniques that were found in Krav Maga as well as a Canadian self defense style called Senshido. Uh, if you haven't heard of Senshido, highly recommend, etc., etc. Um, and as I was uh, incorporating techniques from both those styles as well as a couple of other techniques from various different martial arts that I was able to use the techniques and ground them into reality, um, you know, I couldn't really quite teach under the name Krav Maga because some stuff was, you know, too different from what they taught in um, traditional branches of it, and I couldn't um, teach under the name Senshido either because, well, I taught some things that were a little bit different to that, uh, as well as the fact that I wasn't ever signed off to be an official instructor, and so I had to come up with something else to teach under, and so I came up with this acronym PLAT, which stands for practical, logical, and tactical, and then, of course, self-defense. And yes, I spell defense with a C, because in Australia, that's how the word is spelt. I know that in America, they spell it with an S. Well, technically, defense is spelled with a D, but anyway, I'm just kidding. You know what I mean. Uh, and so, outside of that, I also, you know, taught and learned um, firearms tactics. Uh, the one that I favor the most, obviously, as most people watching this video would know, is center axis relock. Um, and so... The reason why I called my um, YouTube channel Protective Offense is because it kind of just like sums up the mindset of both self-defense as far as hand-to-hand -hand, um, techniques go. Uh, also, stuff that involves like uh, gun disarms. Yeah, I know it's uh, pretty difficult to pull those ones off, but some people have, and if I'm going to get shot anyway, I'd rather teach that than um, just give up. Um, as well as defending yourself against uh, other weapons such as knives, broken bottles, batons, machetes. Machetes are a bitch, by the way, but anyway. Uh, and then, you know, I couldn't really teach something like Cinerixus Relock under, you know, plat self-defense. Um, and so, anyway, so separately, Cinerixus Relock is its own thing, my own version of how I've incorporated different things of all these uh, different reality-based self-defense um, systems or stuff that might be in traditional martial arts that I've been able to modify and use for reality-based self-defense stuff. Um, all comes under the name Plat Cell Defense. And I was going to originally call my um, YouTube channel Plat Cell Defense, but uh, because I also wanted to talk about, uh, you know, gun stuff and things that um, I don't think this name really well represents, I went with something else where the mindset sums up all of it. And now I did not come up with the name Protective Offense. I first heard that used by Richard Dimitri in one of his older Sinchito instructional tapes. Um, and so I'll give mine a little. Uh, summary and paraphrasing of it, but if you want to watch the actual video and where he um, describes it, I'll link it in this description to my miscellaneous channel. Um, that other channel, I've got a lot of videos on there by Richard Dimitri. If you're familiar with his name, then you probably already found my other channel and maybe didn't know that it was actually me. Um, so, uh, I've got a f couple of channels. i got this you know, channel here and a couple of others which I won't go into in this uh, video because it's not part of the point, but my miscellaneous channel is where I post stuff that doesn't fit into my other channels. So it's just like stupid footage of me and, uh, you know, like my cats or, um, you know, just other kind of things, but mostly I originally had it on there just to post videos of Richard Dimitri um, to help promote Sinchido. Um And then because I wanted to just do other, just kind of pointless videos, like in the grand scheme of things, they're just, they're stupid and pointless. Um, they're the only other channel where they'd work. And so, you know, if you want to see the stuff on Richard Dimitri talk about what protective offense means when he sums it up, well, again, link in the description, but uh, here's my summary of it. And so it basically means self-defense, but there's uh, a different mindset and um, methodology behind it. And so 
what Rich Dimitri stated is that Dan Millman uh, stated that the way in which we perceive words and everything like that um, kind of like make up this image of how we also perceive the world. And so if I was to use the word run, well, if you're an athlete, you'll probably think of running a marathon. If you're a politician, you may think, um, you know, running for a campaign. Uh, I'm trying to look at other stuff here. Yeah, like mouse. If you work with computers all day, you'll probably think one of these things. If you work in a pet store, you'll think of mouse as in the literal uh, animal. Um, and so when most people think self-defense, they think of themselves as a victim in peril that needs to fight back. Protective offense means the same thing, but you're in a more um, dominant mindset. So it's kind of the difference between if you think of all the animals in nature. Let's just isolate this to Africa for now. Um, think of the difference between a deer and a lion. So a deer is typically considered to be an animal of prey. But if depending on the animal that's um, attacking them, they may uh, decide to you know, fight back and defend themselves. Um, or let's just say um, the possums that we have here in Australia. First of all, Australian possums don't play dead. Um, and they are, can be quite vicious. But typically, if um, you're approaching them, they'll walk away um, or run away. And if they're cornered, then they will fight back. Uh, and so, you know, basically that is self-defense. Now, if you can imagine if you decide to take on a wolf, first of all, you're an idiot. Uh, but there'll be a completely different mindset compared to the when a wolf fights back to when, you know, a possum or when any other kind of animal that's considered to be a, um, animal of prey. Uh, and so, you know, if you're attacked by, you know, someone in any kind of manner, protective offense would state that, no, I'm the dominant one, I'm in the, um, predatorial mindset now, you're going to be my victim. I'm not going to be the victim fighting back in hopes that I escape. And so, you know, like I said, of course you shouldn't be out looking for fights, which is typically what those um, uh, animals of uh, the predatorial nature would be doing. But I'm just saying that um, you'll be in a much more dominant mindset um, when it comes to protecting yourself, because you're protecting yourself offensively rather than defending yourself, uh, well, yeah, defensively. And so, yeah, that's basically... Um, what it means summed up. And yeah, I know, on my shirt it doesn't say plat protective offense, it does say cell defense, because cell defense is a much more uh, universally well-known term when it comes to, well, you know, protecting yourself um, against threats or danger. Um, protective offense, most people go, what does that mean? And half the time they don't know what it means, or the other half the time people think that it has something to do with um, protecting yourself after you've committed like a, a federal offense or something like that. So, anywho, uh, that's all that it means. And so, thank you for tuning in and watching the video. Um, as always, stay safe and go check out that uh, other video on my separate channel. <laughs>